Welcome to another Wednesday Quick Play. I've got something a bit different for you today because rather than using some sort of commercial, ready compiled game, I'm going to use one which is quite raw to the bone because it is written in QBasic. Uh, QBasic, of course, coming with Microsoft DOS from version 3 onwards. This is the version from DOS 6.22 from 1992. Um, we don't need the QBasic help file, my friend. Uh, this is version 1.1 of QBasic. Of course, QBasic is derived from QuickBasic, which is the fully commercial edition and allows you to make fully executable files. This one, it's just for messing around, really. You know, it harks back to machines like the Commodore 64 and Spectrum and all the early micros, even the uh, IBM 088 machines, which had BASIC built into ROM. And... Of course, it's nice to be able to create something on your computer. And this version came with a number of games. One of those is Nibbles, which I used to play in school because obviously you could get away with using QBasic in school. And it's a fairly simple game. Love that music. Uh, actually written by Rick Raddatz. Um... And it's based on the 1980s game Hustle from the uh, Radio Shack TRS-80 microcomputer. It's two players, but me being uh, by myself, I will play one player. And I think we'll start on level 40 to make it a little bit crazy. Because I'm feeling crazy. Increased game speed. Yes, why the hell not? Color monitor. Let's go. Here we go. Level one, push space. Now, you may recognize this game as being very similar to Snake on the Nokia mobile phones, which was the perfect mobile game. It's better than all this crap you get on mobile phones today. It was perfectly suited and addictive because you didn't have many other options. It was like two games on the Nokia to start with. I can't even remember what the other one was. But the idea is to twist your snake around the course and collect these numbers which were, I believe they were just dots on the phones. The phone version obviously being based on these derivatives. And it's a fully text mode game. The numbers are obviously text, all these characters are block characters. And it's based in ASCII. And it runs beautifully. And this was very addictive at school on lunch breaks. You know, it was like a welcome distraction from school if you like there used to be quite a few of us in the IT rooms nibbling it up us crazy bastards and the idea obviously is to get the numbers you get additional points for each number you collect so uh, I've got 5,500 uh, on this one I'll get 6,000 then yep yeah, 6,600 so you get an extra 100 points per number accumulating in an ever increasing format uh, you have five lives and different levels, obviously. I, I'd forgotten it had different levels, but the levels do get increasingly more complicated as we go. Whew. God, level three already. Uh, if you haven't seen my QBasic or basic programming video from a few weeks back, I wholeheartedly recommend you watching it. Basically, I explore some old software which I made and look at the various programs, programming languages available on early machines. But I will be doing another one, a more detailed one soon, because I found a load of other basic programs I made, including a QBasic maze game where you just have to navigate your way around the maze and, and occasionally get stuck and unable to escape. Like most 80s software had to have. The obligatory bug. Like, um, was it Jet Set Willy? Or, I think it was Jet Set Willy, which you couldn't actually complete because of a, uh, a glitch on the later levels when uh, one of the developers, well, the, the developer just walked out for some reason. So they, they, t they tended just to push games out like that because they could still make money and by the time anyone had found out about the glitch, they'd already sold a bucket load of games. So who gave a monkeys? Of course, it's been patched now, so you can complete it. But, you know, that's capitalism. Uh, the snake's name is Sammy, as you can see at the top. And I think I've said I have five lives. And, yeah, it's, it's not really much I can say about this game, is there? 
it's very much a game of reflexes, skill and some logic to work out where to pick your tail because it can get increasingly long on the later levels. I believe there's more numbers to pick up on each... Is there more numbers on each level? I seem to be getting to 9 and then stopping. Surely it must go above 9, otherwise this would be far too easy, wouldn't it? The knocker used to just keep going on and on forever, so I suppose they've had to bring in different level designs just to make it a bit more difficult as we progress. Which makes sense, I suppose there we go, I'm dead already. Anyway! Like I said, this was pretty much good fun at school. Not so much fun. Now, especially when you have an entire Steam library and massive selection of retro machines to choose from. So I'll go and play one of those and um, leave you till Friday when I'll be doing a full review of the Acorn Archimedes A3010 machine. Uh, join me then. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.